Kapitel Tesayan. Michtem le David Shem Reniel Kirchesisi Vach. Matla do ino yadino yoto tabosi balo lecho. The Gdoishi Mashabaret Seima. Fadiri Kolchev Tsivom. Yirbu at Svaisa Machem or Balasach Niskem Idom or Balasach Mesam Al Svasoi. Adoino Minos Helki Vichoisi at the Timer Koyoli. Havolim no flulib and imim af nachla shofra loi. Havoreches adinoi shayotoni af leilis is renichel yosoi. Shivisi adinoi the negdi summit. Kimimi mine bal emoid. Vachain samachli bi vayogel kivoidi. Half besarish kan lovetach. Kiloi sazev navshila shoi la sitin chisit chaliroi shochas. Toidi enio chaim seva samachas espanecho. Ni imois bi minchonetzach. I hope I'll be able to be able to here. There's really no here here. I mean, I should be hoping I have to say a couple of words clearly. The tsar is on top of me so much, it's very hard for me to control myself. <laughs> when we had brought down a lot, that the point of a husband is to be my bachi, the people should think about doing tshuva. How you marry a bachi? Usually, maybe you have to think, you have to bring out, you have to talk, you have to say. There's a very amazing medrash. The medrash travels and says, Mr. Shalach, Zaydi's Nayak's grandfather, died. At what age? He died at the age of 970. To a shame in the world, told Nayak, it's your fault. You see, who's getting punished? We're not getting punished. You're getting punished. Losing a Zayd at, at, at 970 years is considered a punishment. And Kolshkin, of losing less than that, 80 years, 70 years, 60 years. The point of Bimeir Bechi, over here, it's so, you don't even have to be Bimeir Bechi. Where do you have that finally, Ali and Rezi finally got together, they're finally happy, have one year of happiness, and it gets cut off in the middle of nothing. How do I have to be very unhappy? You see two kvarts, two, two meters in front of you. Two meters in front of you from young people, just 30 years, just starting out. They're just so happy about what was happening, that they got married, that they have a child. There's no need for a husband to be very unhappy. It's automatic. You see what's going on? I just want to say one other thing that people should realize. Sadik Vyoshu called the Rokh of Amunu. Rokhavat Chaim used to say, You want to know who to send to the front line to fight? You should send the married people, because they have schusim, that they have to keep the families going. Don't send like the guy think, Bachram. Bachram have no schusim. The bunch of Sadik Vyoshu who nobody gets an Einish unless everybody around him is ready for that Einish. And then go back to this, what's the Fanenu? Come to us, if the, 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 the tsar, the friends would be feeling, would be a, not, a, be a real big tsar. I shouldn't say, shouldn't, but the tsar, the friends are feeling, was not right to come to them. It wouldn't have happened. Kolsh came the siblings, the tsar from the siblings, and why is it losing them? Siblings at young age, if the tsar that they're having from it wouldn't have been right for them, it wouldn't have happened. And Kalashkain, by Menashe Kalashkain, me and my Machutin, we're losing our children at a very young age. Al Kachach, it's something that's sad that's supposed to happen to us. Tzadik Vyosha, who? We don't know what's going on. Kel Munavay Novel, everything's perfect with the Cheshvan. And with this, I'm going to have to, this people should understand, is dull, there is what they cry about, and it should bother you. And I only have to spring out the godless. 
But one Nakuda, I should say, about my daughter, about my Ellie, they complemented each other very well. My daughter was a person who always was interested in helping. My daughter was a person who, she was waiting to become an Ehrlich Mamu. She was waiting to make a good mishpacha. Ellie was a person who always lived with life, and they complemented each other amazingly. And their bunch of decided to get their sign. But the myth, I'm going to say, we should all know that some out, the bunch of Tzadik V'yosha Hu, and the, we shouldn't hear any more Tzar, and the Mashiach should come and Nochem Ed, and Nochem Ed, and Nochem Ed, and Nochem Ed. About a, a year ago, we all came together to Eli and Rezi's Chasana, a few miles away. And it's a little more than a year later, and we're not leading them to the Chuppah, we're all leading them to the Kisya Kavid. Moshe Rabbeinu says, Lo my Reisa. Kosh Baruch Hu says, the others didn't ask questions. Avram Avinu didn't complain. Yitzchak Yaakov didn't complain. And when he asked Shaila, Moshe Rabbeinu didn't either complain about himself. He's asking for others. The Mephoshim say, Hashem was upset at the word, Hashem doesn't do ra. Everything Hashem does is toiv. And that was the taina. Eli and Rezi, they have no tainus. They never had tainus in their life. Whatever they went through, it was always with a smile. You never saw them angry. You never saw them upset. They were a couple. It was never, I've never seen a more giving couple in my life than them. Always looking out for each other. They never had a Loma Riosa. Never. The amount, anywhere where Eli went, the koyach he went, the energy he went, everybody knew him. Whoever you just came in contact with him and you knew him. His simcha sachayim was real, it was genuine. He'd tell me after I learned today in yeshiva with the oilam, I kocht, I loved it, I davened for the Ahmed, I put my whole heart into it. He lived it, his family, the derech eretz for his parents, what he would do for his parents, his mother and his father, it's legendary. His siblings going back home to Los Angeles was to be with his family. He lived it. Such incredible, such an incredible human being. Never had tightness on anything. Always with a smile, always Michael, always Mevata. His dear Ebbetson, a woman who never said a dishonest word in her life. Honest, Ehrlich. Oh, on every single person, her nieces, her nephews, her siblings. Always looking to help, always looking to see what she can do, how she can better herself. It's an incredible thing to think that the two of them, a few months ago, they were down the hall, we were going to the chasana, and now we're about to take them to the kvura, but they have no tainas. They have absolutely no tainas. Loma Ariyosa was not in the vocabulary. They never, ever complained about anything. It was always forward thinking. In a week from now, they were expecting a simcha. And we look at it and say, what happened now? Where's their future? Where's their asid? Every single person who came in contact with them, we are their asid. If we can internalize some of that simcha, some of the gutzkeit being native to others, if we can look around at our lives and see what we have and, the, and what, we're able, what we're able to accomplish, will perpetuate that, that, that there's a zechroinus forever. And the same way, they never took no for an answer. They always move forward with such energy. They're right now in front of the Kisei covered already. They're already demanding. Ellie never doesn't know what no means. Ellie never stops at anything. The energy he has, 
the energy he lived with, the way he learned to learn with his shver yevamis every night. It was such a koch for him. With, with, with this, with this koyach that definitely in front of the Kisei HaKov is being mispal already for the parents, for the siblings, for the friends. HaKadosh Baruch Hu should help. There should be an end to the Tzoros HaMoch HaDimah Me'al Kopanam V'Noim Aramein. Today, a great light was, dis- was extinguished in our base Medrash. Rebelli, you were the fire in base Medrash. Who's going to tumble in learning now? Who is going to be getting the oilam into it? The oilam sent me some videos today. They were taking videos of rebellion in the base medrash. How he would fire and learning. When he would come speak to me in the shir, the entire base medrash would come behind him. He had an unbelievable koyach to be more to oil him and learning. They saw a younger man who had understood what a geschmack in learning was. A younger man that had a geschmack and a simcha gedoyla from a shtickle from a rajba. Who are we going to talk to? Who are we going to speak to? Until today, our base medris was a base medris with Eli. From today on, it's a base medris without Eli. It's not the same tura b'chalal. Eli, I'm going to miss you personally. How much we had in learning together. How much we spoke together. How much we grew together. The oil of yeshiva is broken. How much you love the Talmidim. They were like your children. You came to speak to me many times. How can we make it better? How can we make it stronger? The love that they have for you is English Shire. They don't know how to go forward. Tell me them came forward to me today. They said, how am I going to continue? Who am I going to learn with? Who is going to care for me like you did? You lived a short life. But you, you did something that people that live a long life didn't do. You joined our Moises. We were four years old. A young organization. And you came in and you are from the founders of developing the fundamentals of how the base Medrash runs. You were a dogma to the young, younger light. What a younger man should be. Your input and impression in the Moisid is here to stay forever. Had a Moisid, a Koyach. No matter how dakus the lomdis was and how deep it was, he had a way to break it down to the simplest form, to give it over to the any bocha to fashtay the learning. An unbelievable person, kol kulei leiv, kol kulei simcha, kol kulei ava, a person that we've never seen like this before. We're going to miss you tremendously. But the hashpoh that you gave us is going to stay with us forever. There's no words to say that tsar is too big. It's very hard to be masked with you. I didn't know your wife, but you spoke to me many times. You spoke about your shver, how much you were in a spoil from his Torah, how you would sit by his table and listen to his words and drink his words. You spoke about how your wife was with you at your side in all your avoida. We had once a question if you should go out of town to do the to daven for the omit somewhere. And he said, my wife told me, even though it's difficult, 
But if this is the right avoider for you, I'm by your side no matter what. This was the couple of Oif de Hashem, the younger light, that this is what we all looked up to be like. Mocha Hashem dimum al koponim. I spoke to my yeshiva this morning, Rebellion Canaric. <clears throat> Asked my yeshiva straight up, Rebbe, what do you want from me? What, what do you want me to do? What am I supposed to do now? What is my avoider right now? He didn't. He said, I don't know. I, I, there's nothing I can tell you. I, you have to explain your question. My night, my umana daber, and that was it. That's the whole thing. <sighs> That's Ellie. Ellie is a guy that when it comes to a situation of manoimar, manedaber, means manomar, manedaber, when there's nothing I can say. I don't even see the light at the end of the tunnel. I'm going to fight, and I'm going to make a light at the end of the tunnel. And he made a light at the end of the tunnel. He did. He made such a happy life out of himself with his wife. The image doesn't leave my mind. He was davening for the Amud on Yom Tif. And he got to the words in Hal, that Hashem takes us out from the garbages and brings us up so high. And he was in such a hard time in his life. And he put his talit over his head and he covered his head. He couldn't stop himself from crying. Mashpot Yarim Avion, Hashem, you're going to take me out of this garbage and you're going to put me all the way up there. And he did put him up there. <laughs> and he fought and he pushed. <laughs> he always said, I have the best life in the world. He always said that. I'm only able to do all these things because I have Razy pushing me behind me. Ali, <laughs> when we found out your wife was pregnant, <laughs> it was one of the happiest days of my life. <laughs> you're, my boy, you're my team. You're part of me, Ali. You can't... Uh, <laughs> Mommy and Baba, I want you to look around right now. There's hundreds of people here. Not because Ellie was a popular guy. He actually was a popular guy. But I guarantee you, you ask any of one of these people that are here, that is there something in you that Ellie inspired you? I can promise you that there is something that, inspi that inspired someone, every single person from uh, that Ellie inspired. Ellie was an inspiration. Ellie was a warrior. There was nothing Ellie was scared of. Ellie, your last wish this Friday night, your last wish was that you're going to go one day when you come to Mr. Tamil you're going to go and raise these down already. She's interested. You're gonna go to LA and you're gonna open, you're gonna open up a huge Mokim Tyra where you can be Marbet's Tyra. Ellie, help me! I want to make your wish true. I'm gonna, you're gonna continue living with me till the day I die. There's no way we let go of you, Ellie and Razy. 
And whoever your baby was going to be, you guys are so happy together in our little mamas. Well, you guys are with us. You're in our hearts. Hopefully we'll be able to take your legacy of Mashpas Yarim Evian and actually make the light at the end of the tunnel. And don't finish fighting till you get to the end of the tunnel. I don't know where to start from. <laughs> so supportive. So kind. <sighs> My father and mother always taught us that we should be a leader. When I look up to Ellie, <laughs> he's, he's a big leader. I came home one day from camp, and there was a, I want, the Rebbe said, if you do this much of Mishnahis, I'll give you a prize. I really wanted it. Ali said, you know what? I'm down, you're down, let's do it. <sighs> Ali, I miss you. <laughs> miss learning with you. <laughs> I miss that day that we learned together. Understand? He would go back and forth until I get it. <laughs> I had some struggle this evening to learn well. It was hard for me to learn, but you taught me well. We didn't learn that much, we learned a little bit here and there. My father, my mother would push me, push me, go learn, go learn. And I learned with Ellie. <laughs> I want to say one thing that, what do you, Rabbi Harari is Yoche, is Yoche to have. There was a Rebbe there. I wish I was there. I would take off everything to go to Rabbi Harari's yeshiva and sit right next to him. Whoever that is standing here, whoever that is standing here at the Zoha as a chut, to sit next to Ali, just be in the same room as him <laughs> and learn. I wish I was there. I regret it. I wish I was there. <laughs> always wanted to go out, always, always down for stuff to do. I said, Ellie, let's do something. All right, let's go. I'm down. Let's go. Let's go. Always marry the house, labor dick. <laughs> I know Razy was, they got married. Razy was a caring, caring woman. Caring. Very caring. I hope my wife, Emir Hashem, should be like her. She's come to her house, open our doors, please, Shefa, Shefa, please, anything, anything you want. I'm good. Please, Mohammed. 
Kelly, please don't call me that time. I did nothing wrong to you. I'm sorry. <laughs> Crazy, please walk help me. <laughs> From now on, Mr. Hashem, I'm gonna be better. I'm gonna go the way of Torah. I'm gonna go the way that you learn. You teach your kids out of her. Hashem, please. It's a close of Ellie and Raisy. <laughs> I know you're praying for us. You're praying for mom. You're praying for Baba. You're praying for Avia, Rivka. Deborah, Yael, Yelet. Yuna. And for me. Hashem, help me, please help me. Ladaven for us. I know you're in a better world. You're in a much better world. I know that. My last words. I'm going to miss you. I'm going to have you wherever I go. I'll have you in mind. And I'm going to have my heart to your heart. It's going to go together. Thank you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for it. I'm sorry. I don't want to leave from here. I don't want to leave from here. I'm gonna miss you. <laughs> I'm gonna miss Raisy. We're supposed to have a simcha next week. We're supposed to have a simcha next week. A prismel. I wish I could have seen it, but I know you're gonna give us a bracha up there. I know you're gonna give us a bracha in Ghanaian. I'm the baby of the family, but I'm going to keep my parents strong and my family strong. It's just me and my oldest sister, Rivka, at home. We're going to keep my parents strong. I miss you. It was just two weeks ago. My wife and I, we made a bris. I got to the hall. And the first person that greeted me, the first person there was Ellie. I told him, I said, next week, whether it'll be a bris, or whether it'll be a kiddush, we're gonna be there, we can't wait. Next week came! <laughs> Here, you're the fire. How could this be possible? How could we process such a thing? We've heard of sad stories, we've heard of tragedies, but this, this. <laughs> How? It was, felt like just like yesterday, we grew up together. We grew up, we would make, like, like we would say, like, oh, we have a lot of homework to do. So we would tell our, I would tell my mother, yeah, we have to sleep over tonight just so that we can spend time together and have a good time.
We went through high school together, and at times, it wasn't easy for, for Ellie, but he pushed, and he pushed, and he pushed, and he wasn't going to give up until he fully understood his learning, and he got there, and he got there. And in the last few years, the Tsars, the Tsars, both of them went through. And they finally, they met each other. And when he found Razy, he called me. We would talk for hours about what was going on. And Baruch Hashem, it was all past. And he was finally getting married. And he told me, Mosh, I, I found somebody that loves me, that I love her too. And the family loves me too. He was so happy. And when he found out that she was expecting, he couldn't wait to call me. It's terrible, but HaKadosh Baruch Hu runs this world. And we don't understand why certain things are done. And although it's impossible to process, we have to thank the Kaddish Baruch Hu and yours chos and Rezi's chos and the baby's chos. We made a tiyashir for everybody. May we never have to go through such things. I wish my uncle, my cousins, my aunt, and everybody, real nechama, to raise his family, raise his parents and siblings. I'm so sorry. May we be zeichet to see Mashiach and see the Tchiyas Mason. El <laughs> Yas Elio Nuriel Ben Yas Ben Yasaman Shahalach Laila Moi Bavosh Mishpachta Yi Tembeli Neda Tzedak Abadis Goras Nishma Soi Began Eden Temunu Chasoi Lechem Balarach Miasta Yu Besesa Knafa Flea Lahamim Yitzra Vitara Chaimis Nishma Soi Adino Nachla Soi Venuach Hamishkavoi Bishaloi Venuach Maramein Shiva just the two addresses, Shiva, 44 Henry, and 15 Mimosa Court in Jackson. We're going to be, we're asking, we're going out to the 7th and Brook to the Bay Salem. Do not drive there. It's closed down. The ladies should be malava behind the men. All the men should leave, and then the ladies will be malava behind. There's no ladies in the Bay Salem during the Kvura. Just, it's a little icy, just be careful when we go out.